Right, in my last video I showed how I made this um, ER20 um, collet chuck tool post drill with uh, tapered roller bearings to fit my ER40 um, collet chuck um, tool post on the Myford ML7. And in this video I want to show you how it performs. It's really excellent. Um, it's exceeded my expectations on milling. Um, I've always wanted um, something that I could actually put up very quickly and do milling with an ordinary electric drill on the lathe. Um, in the past I made a um, milling machine attachment um, for the Myford ML7 but that one takes a long time to set up and this one can do exactly the same as that and is very quick to actually put up and operate. And when I made it, I did actually know that um, I could actually do milling with the um, tool post drill with the electric drill attached to the back here. And that's very good. But like I say, it's exceeded my expectations because I can actually use one of these flexi shafts on the electric drill and onto the back here and do milling that way. So if you saw my last video, um, I had this part here to actually put in the back and I've now um, secured that in the back with Loctite 63A and I've um, greased up the bearings with Molly Slip Grease. It's lovely and smooth and runs dead true. And before I show you it in the workshop, I'd just like to say that you can get these heavy duty flexi shafts uh, for drills on um, eBay. The uh, lighter weight ones wouldn't be able to operate this, so probably snap the internal part. But these heavy duty ones, um, the ones to go for is the ones with the oil or grease nipple in each end here. And what I do is um, unscrew both of those, um, put it upright, and I put um, ISO 32 hydraulic oil in with my oil can and um, squirt that into the shaft. They do come with a um, different chuck on, a smaller um, keyless chuck, but I change it for one of these um, bigger type. It's nice and easy to operate. And like I say, the really um, heavy duty uh, flexi shafts, and they only cost um, just over 12 pounds post free. And I was totally impressed when I actually tried it out on 316 stainless steel. I got an excellent finish. Um, I only do about 10 thou cuts, uh, 20 thou overall, and if I'm going to do um, heavy drilling through a piece like this, I wouldn't use the flexi shaft, I'd use the drill directly on the back here. And just before I go out into the workshop, I'd just like to say that um, I'm not worried about not having a vertical um, travel on this milling setup, I didn't make it for that. I made it for an absolute heavy duty tool post drill which I can use for indexed drilling and drilling right the way through bar dead on centre with um, larger size um, drills than my um, previous tool post drill setups and also for milling keyway slots very quickly um, and this is absolutely ideal for that.
Right, I've got a piece of 3116 stainless steel up in the ER40 collet chuck here, and I'm using a 10mm diameter four flute blue nano end mill bit. I'm using my motorcycle oiler system with a trigger assembly to actually pump oil out for coolant. And I've got my Bosch drill on this drill stand here. I'll put links for all the tools that I'm using in this video um, below.
and you can see there what a brilliant job that does. And you can mill with it this way as well with the drill connected directly on the back if you don't want to use the flexi shaft and now I'm going to um, draw through the um, bar the stainless steel bar with um, a center drill and then some bigger drills to see how that performs And that was a six millimeter drill and you can actually take it out of the um, tool post uh, very quickly for longer drills to insert them into the ER20 collet chuck And that was a 10mm drill. 
And if you saw my last two videos where I made this um, tool post and the tool post drill, you'll know that every time I actually put the tool post drill into this tool post, that it'll be dead on centre high. So there's the milling and the drilling. I'm really pleased the way it's turned out. And don't forget, with my setups, I can do the indexed drilling as well. And just before I go, I'd just like to say that I was using these um, tungsten carbide blue nano um, end mill bits from Banggood. They're one of the best mill bits that I've used. They're absolutely solid. And they've just brought out another uh, version, the ball nose type, uh, two flute um, end mill bits.